What's good, people? Uh, back today with a viewer question. I was about to say a subscriber question, but I don't know if this person is a subscriber, but they are a viewer and it's about social media. So if you don't know, I did a video on social media and how leaving social media sort of affected my life um, probably about four or five months back. And I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it already so you can go check it out. There should be a little eye thing that pops up, you know, somewhere around my head. But I'm going to read the question and then um, provide my thoughts and just you know overall advice so the email says i'm a 27 year old woman living in toronto in any ways i was watching your video about quitting social media i'm about to quit mine and the biggest struggle i'm having is that we're all in this pandemic together um and the simple fact that you know that is what tempts me to go back on it uh, your youtube video is 100 percent right and i know that's how i genuinely feel at this moment in my life i can admit that it's an addiction toxic and pretty purposeless if you ask me I don't know, but I was just hoping you could give some advice or words of encouragement on quitting and leaving social media uh, or leaving the social media environment while we're all with the living with these restrictions um, and not allowed to really, you know, go back outside. And that's kind of where the um, email ends. So first and foremost, thank you for sending in, you know, that question. And I, I'll start off here. I think the biggest thing that a lot of people didn't really get from the video that I talked about is that leaving social media doesn't have to be cold turkey right it doesn't have to be like you totally abandoning every single connection that you have with anybody like humans are social creatures we're made to be together we're made to interact with one another right i think the issue comes in where social media consumption just kind of becomes purposeless like what you said in your your email like where you just kind of scroll in not really you have no objective. It's just you're consuming content and nothing's coming of it, right? I still do use social media and leverage it in a way that allows me to connect with other people, right? Uh, for example, I have a Snapchat group with my close friends. There's probably like 10 of us in the group, right? And one thing that we like to do throughout the day sometimes, if we're cooking something, doing a workout, whatever, we wanna interact with one another, we'll use that group as a means of going back and forth with each other, staying connected, and also you know, talking to one another, starting a conversation throughout the day. And for me, using that is a more purposeful way of using social media. It's not me scrolling, it's not me just kind of consuming content, it's a way to meaningfully you know, connect with other people in my life that I care about, right? So that's one thing that I would say, don't feel like you have to totally, totally leave social media. That's not for everybody to do, and that's not what I did. You know, I touched on that in the, in the video. I think it's all about having balance, right? Obviously I do YouTube. YouTube is a form of social media right but the way in which i'm using it and the way in which i leverage youtube even outside of like uploading is to learn things it's to you know watch videos that are going to educate me it's not me just kind of mindlessly consuming content so just really being cognizant about how you use it um that would be my first piece of advice don't necessarily totally eliminate it if you have a, a like a group of close friends and you want to have like an iMessage group chat and you want to use snapchat to still kind of connect with them definitely do that you know i'm somebody who lives alone so one way for me to stay connected with people is using social media in those ways and the second thing i would say is make sure that you know you have a hobby have something that you like to do i think a lot of us kind of revert to scrolling and just going back to instagram and, and twitter and just you know wasting hours on those platforms is just because we don't have anything else going on right like if you know you get off work for the day or something like that and you have nothing else really going on in your life what more is there to do is kind of like all right social media is there i'm gonna go scroll for the next couple hours but i think if you start to pick up hobbies things that you really really like to do lock into that hone into that and understand um that that when you have something that you really like that's probably going to take up more of your time and, and you're going to be so engrossed in it that you're going to kind of forget about social media like it's going to just fade off into the distance right one thing that i like to do and you guys know this i upload to youtube youtube is like a it's a release for me it's a way to um it, it's a hobby for one it's something i really like to do it takes up a lot of time and then outside of that i like to produce music i write music i have my own like spotify page you guys can check out my music it'll be linked down below and i do a lot of other things as well trade stocks so like all of these things even though i do have pockets of time where maybe i'm not doing things I fill those pockets of time with my hobbies, interests, with my business. So the more and more things that you have to do and the more and more hobbies that you have, the less tempted I think you will be to sort of go back to social media, even, you know, being, uh, you know, in this sort of lockdown state that we're in. And to keep this very short and not make it too long winded is the last piece of encouragement and advice um, that I would give is just do what is right for you. 
you know, do what is right for you. If you feel like you need to leave social media 100% and delete your Twitter, delete your Instagram, delete your Facebook and just totally disappear from that space, do that. If you don't feel like you need to do that, not everybody needs to, right? And not everybody should. Um, I also talked about this in the video as well. Like if you are somebody who is a creative, if you're somebody who creates content, if you're somebody who runs a business, it doesn't necessarily make sense to totally abandon those platforms. Learning how to leverage them in a way that's healthy, right? Learning how to leverage them more in, in a in just like a one-way street and having a one-way street mentality. And what I mean by that is I talked about this in a podcast that I recently uploaded um, to Spotify and Apple Podcasts and you can check that out, which will also be linked down below. But I talked about how I use social media in a very one way, you know, sense. I upload, you know, I may upload something to Instagram. I may upload something to Twitter, upload something to YouTube, but it's not me really consuming a whole lot of content. It's more so using it as a production avenue. You know, I upload something to this. I upload this YouTube video. You're going to watch it. Like, it's not really me using it as a means of just like scrolling you know always have a purpose if you go into every single interaction that you have on social media with a purpose i think that'll also uh really help you know um and, and do it at your own pace don't feel like you have to do something overnight don't feel like you have to um really like do what everybody else is doing find what works for you you know it, it can be a process it doesn't have to be something that happens like that you don't necessarily have to leave for good um, if you do find some value and it's a way that you uh, connect with other people, but maybe you just want to cut down that time. So really define what that define what you want your social media life to look like. Right. Do you just want to be endlessly, mindlessly scrolling or do you want to be more purposeful in the interactions that you have? And I think if you keep that at the forefront of your mind, being purposeful um, and also, you know, using it in a way that is going to allow you to either one, grow your business, grow yourself, learn something. I think if you have that as a guiding light, uh, that's really a way to, um, you know, slowly wane down and cut down on your social media usage. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, those are like the biggest things that really helped me just really being purposeful to only really using it when I need to. Right. Uh, when I need to and using it in a more of a one way uh, respect where I just upload things. I might upload something to my story on Instagram to share with all of you. I might upload something to Twitter really quickly, but it's not so much me scrolling. It's like whenever I get on social media, I have an objective. I have to upload this. I have to contact this person. And that's really how I'm, I'm leveraging it. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you again for sending that in. Um, and so everyone else watching, if you don't know, if you ever have a question that you want to send in, you can hit me on Instagram or Twitter in my DMs, or you can send something um, to my email, which is also linked down below. Uh, and I will do my best to make a response video. And if not a response video, I will at least respond to your DM or your email. So yeah, I'll end that video right there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and if any of you have gone through your own journey of either cutting back on social media or completely leaving social media, drop that advice that you have down below. I love to hear what each and every one of you feels about this particular um, subject, topic, uh, and issue. Um, and I'll catch all of you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Just Chris. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out some more of my content and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.